Okay, welcome. This video is to show you how to do the series parallel tutorial exercise in Circuit Tutor. So we're here on the main menu of the downloadable software and we're going to click on the series parallel exercise. Now the first thing we'd normally do would be to take a pretest, which is going to ask you some questions um, just to measure your knowledge going in. I'm going to skip that for right now. Um, and then you would be required to view a tutorial on the website, which you would do by clicking this button. Um, you don't have these little skip and, and refresh buttons, but um, and that would explain to you the basic ideas that are involved. Um, and then you would come back here and actually do the exercises. So again, I'm going to skip the tutorial uh, since that's pretty self-explanatory. And now we're on the main menu here and we have basically the option of viewing examples or actually working problems. And notice that there are four different levels of difficulty, easy, medium, hard, and mastery. And in this exercise, the difference between the levels is really just the complexity of the circuit, not necessarily the, um, the concepts. The concepts are pretty much the same on every level, um, but we do make things a little bit harder on the upper levels by taking away some of the um, things that can help you on the lower levels just so that you gain better mastery. So the first thing I always recommend is look at some examples. So if we just click a button here, this will show you an e easy level example. So it's coloring the nodes so that we can see what is actually a node. So the black coloring is one node, the red is another node, the magenta is a third node. And then it's going to explain that these two things are in series, um, these two things are in parallel. And then if you want more detailed explanation about that, it can give it to you. It explain exactly why those things are in series, why those things are in parallel, um, and you can read that. Um, and then when we're done, we just press OK. And of course, you can go up to the more complicated uh, cases like this, and it'll do a similar uh, type of thing. Again, it's color coding the nodes, although in the problem itself, it wouldn't do that at this level. Um, and it shows you the elements that are in series, uh, elements that are parallel. Um, there's a whole bunch of four elements that are actually all in parallel. If you look at it carefully, they're connected to the same two nodes. And there's another two uh, elements that are in parallel. And finally, another two elements that are in parallel. Okay, and then you can get a detailed explanation again if you like. So let's show you how to work a problem. Um, these are all pretty much the same. So I'm just going to show you, for example, a hard level problem because the interface works. Um, well, actually, I'm going to start with the easy problem because it does have some additional features. So let's start with an easy problem. First, it gives you some instructions as to what to do. Um, and so you can read that. And the interface here is pretty simple. So what we're going to do is we're just going to click. So if I think, for example, that this element and this element are in series, which actually you may know they're not, um, I would just click, I'd select them, put the green check marks on there, and then just say, check that as a series set. Well, it's going to tell us, no, they're not in series, and explain why. So I've made a mistake on that problem. If I make more than two mistakes, I lose credit for this exercise. So now maybe I give it a little better guess and say that these two are in series, and it'll say yes, ta-da. Um, that is correct. And then you might also notice that these two are going to be in parallel. So if I want to check that, I would check that. Okay. And also it dims out the elements you've already used, so you know not you don't need to use them again. Um, when you're done, you would just say no more sets. Now there's other things you can do. Um, you can repeat the instructions at any time if you need those. Um, you could go back to the introductory tutorial just by clicking this button. Um, you won't unfortunately have the cheat button. You could also get a hint. Um, in this case, we've already solved the problem, so it won't be meaningful. And you could also give up. Now, there would be no point here, of course, because we're done. Um, one thing I should mention is that there is no uh, penalty for giving up any problem. You won't lose anything on your grade as long as you complete another problem of the same type. And that's true throughout Circuit Tutor is you're never penalized for wrong answers. So don't worry about getting wrong answers. As long as you learn and master the skill, you will get full credit for your homework assignment. That's the basic philosophy of Circuit Tutor. So you just have to be persistent. Okay, so this is explaining a little bit more. And then it'll give you new problems. And you have to work several problems at each level. Um, I'm gonna go out now and just show you um, on the mastery level, for example. Um, now you notice we don't have the node coloring. Um, and that's to make it a little bit harder because after all, most circuit diagrams don't have the nodes pre-colored for you. Um, you do have the option to color it once per level, um, so I can do that if I choose, but then the other problems I'll have to work without node coloring. So it's just to try to get you to understand a little bit better without using that sort of uh, helpful thing. 
Okay, so that's colored it for you. And you can also get a hint here, for example. Um, you have a limited number of hints. Um, you only get two hints per circuit diagram. So it'll tell me that C1 is either part of a series or parallel set. That's this element C1 here. Doesn't tell you which, but it at least gives you a hint. Okay, so I might see that that's in parallel and check that. All right, and then I could continue. Um, now, if I can't get it, as I say, I can always give up. And if I do give up, Again, there's no penalty, but it will show me what I didn't find. And I can click through those, and then um, those are all in parallel. And you can also get a detailed explanation of that if you like. But then it just gives you another problem. There's no penalty for doing that. Um, so here's another problem. Now this time I won't be able to color the nodes because I already used my one node coloring. That's the only thing here. And it, basically you just continue working these problems um, until you're finished. and. That's pretty much it for this tutorial. It's uh, fairly simple. Thank you.